I feel like everybody's talking about Dune 2. Dune 2 this, Dune 2 that right now. Everybody's talking about Dune. So I've been, I've had this thumbnail for Dune for like two years and I haven't watched it. So it's time I get to watching it, I think. I got my big notepad because I think I'm going to have to be taking big notes today. I got some aromatherapy, so I'm smelling nice smells right now. And I got my drink, my gamer drink right now because I'm thirsty. And if you tell me what Yu-Gi-Oh card this is, you'll win a prize. Look, I haven't made a reaction video in a real long time. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say right now. Like, like the video, subscribe or something. Leave a comment. I would really like if you talked about this movie um, in the comment section down below. Now let's jump into the movie. At nightfall the spice harvesters land they ravage our lands in front of our eyes their cruelty to my people is all i've known me some subtitles yo by controlling spice production they became obscenely rich richer than the emperor himself batista's in this one too i saw i saw he was in an um in the second one so now i'm curious to see if anybody survives this movie and goes to the I, I don't think oscar isaac's in the second one i don't know why did the Emperor choose this path? And who will our next oppressors be? That immediately felt like a big ass acid trip, dude. Like, can't even comprehend what I just saw. Listen, dog, T shall inspires me, man. I think we're really similar in age. I think he's maybe like a year or two older or younger than me. But going from a guy who was doing like Xbox 360 reviews, controller reviews. What's good, YouTube? This is my controller 360 with the new controller of the week. To like make it movies. That's yes, inspiration right there, dog. If you want it, make me give it to you. Use the voice. Come on, I just woke up. Give me the water. His name is Paul. God damn it. I'm not going to understand anything in this movie, am I? Long exposure to spice has given the tribe their characteristic blue eyes. The eyes of the spice melange. He knows about the spice. Except that. That Josh Brolin in the back movie is stacked, bro. House Atreides shall immediately take control of Arrakis. Do you accept? House Atreides accepts. You're sealed. So it's done. It's done. Duncan. A boy. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, boy. I'd like you to take me with you. Must do that, because no. I've been having dreams. About Arrakis and the Fremen. I saw you with the Fremen. Dreams make good stories. But everything important happens when we're awake. Okay, so Paul is like a seer. Seeing Arrakis, my boy. I'm curious to see what Paul is capable of because obviously he's like a seer. He has these dreams and apparently they mean something. But it's also like he, like that scene with his mother earlier, he's like trying to control her to give him the water. And she... I guess what happened was she became aware that he was controlling her. So she was able to stop herself. And that's why she said almost. Because he almost had full control of her to do it. Father, I'd like to ask to join Duncan Idaho on a scout mission to Arrakis tomorrow. Out of the question. You're the future of House Atreides. I need you by my side. But if we hold firm and tap the true power of Arrakis, we could be stronger than ever. Here on Caladan, we ruled by air power and sea power. On Arrakis, we need to cultivate desert power. I want you sitting in on my council, knowing what I do. And if I'm not there, in the future of House Atreides, I told my father I didn't want this either. I wanted to be a pilot. Choose your blade. I've had quite a day, Gurney. I can do that. Slow blade penetrates the shield. Uh, how do you play that in real life? Like, that's pretty cool. No, seriously, like, the way this is, like, imagine the kind of combat training you could have. We had technology that was, like, similar to, um, laser tag, like this kind of is. This feels like a laser tag version of fighting. I've never met Harkonnens before. I have. 
They're not human, they're brutal. You have to be ready. E.D. Prime, home world of the Harkonnens. Batista. I know that dome anywhere. It's crazy to have such a recognizable build, even like as a, as a freaking a silhouette. What? Uncle, how can we let this happen? How He's can naked? I love these shots of space. This movie has a bunch of like dope, like cinematic shots. Like they're just, it is really nice to look at. What is she up to? All movie long, she's just been like staring into space with her big old eyes. Is Zendaya calling to him? Is that why he's dreaming about her? The Reverend Mother Guy Salimoheim is here. She would like to meet you. She wants to know about your dreams. Why is Dr. Yue here? He only needs a moment. Hello, young master. Heart is strong as ever, my lady. Oh. Things are getting weird. It seems like the mom has her own level uh, layer of secrets. You must do everything the mother and mother tells you. Come here, kneel. Put your right hand in the box. Poison needle. Instant death. Remove your hand from the box, and you die. Her hand is moving a lot. Silence. Okay, so he has to use his powers. I don't understand what's happening. It's the real one, nigga. It's me. I'm him. I'm not them. I'm him, Jones. I'm I'm him, Duncan. I will beat a nigga ass and stomp him in my hemberlands. I've been him. I'm gonna always be him. I'm gonna stay him. Enough. I'm not them. You understand me? All right, now, I, I, what the hell was the, what was the danger of putting the hand in the box all the time? Like, what was he going through? Damn it! You inherit too much power. Not well, because I'm a duke's son. Because you are Jessica's son. You have more than one birthright, boy. Jessica. Alright, this is very interesting now. Hold on. Tell me about these dreams. I'm a girl. On Arrakis. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dream them? Not exactly. Goodbye, young human. I hope you live. Anyway, the thing that was interesting to me was the fact that, like, right before this whole scene happened with this lady, I, I was feeling like this uh, Paul is being dragged in two different directions. One would by his father trying to lead him in some certain way, but then like his mother has her own kind of like situation going on for him, and that just proves it. Like, so much potential wasted in a male, but you in your pride thought you could produce the Kwisatz Haderach. Was I wrong? He is the one. He has a long way to go. His sight is barely awakened, and now he goes into the fire. We have other prospects. If he fails his promise, do you see so little hope? A path has been laid. Let's hope he doesn't squander it. All right, so the mom tried to make like a chosen one of their people, I guess. However, she went about doing that. She produced her son, who is somewhat, he is seemingly chosen because he, I guess he's the first of his kind, technically, right? They only bear, only females are born and he's, he's born. So it makes me wonder whether or not like he's supposed to be the chosen one. It makes me wonder like if he eventually bred with one of uh, a woman of his people, like could, could that person become even more powerful than him? What does it mean? That I could be the one. You heard. Ooh. Bene Gesserit serves as powerful partners to the great houses. You steer the politics of the Imperium from the shadows. You don't know everything. I will sense of you. We've been carefully crossing bloodlines to bring forth the one. A mind powerful enough to bridge space and time. Who can help us into a better future? We think he's very close now. The one. That's, that's kind of like a seer. He, he sees into the future and all that stuff. Past two. Okay.
This music is so based. I, I, something about it is just kind of like kick ass. I mean, we're just chilling right now. This is interesting. These people have waited for centuries for the Lizan al Gaib. They see you, they see the signs. I know that you have a weapon concealed in your bodies. When you, whatever you're hiding, it won't be enough. Do you know its meaning? <laughs> And you have lived with prophecy for so long, the moment of revelation is a shock. It is yours. Also, what's with the blue eyes? Do you get blue eyes when you breathe in the dust? I mean, the spice. That's like a camera with a needle on it. I think it's trying to, like, kill him. <laughs> the hunter seeker. The operator must be nearby. Activate silence. Come on, chill out with the activate silence. Put the put turn the volume back up, bro. It must never be known. There we go. Duke Leto Atreides means nothing to our order. But his wife is under our protection, and by extension, her son. Allow them the dignity of exile. I give you my word, we will not harm them. If the Duke's son lives, now our trade is read. My lord, you gave your word to the witch. The desert takes the weak. My desert. My Iraqis. This guy's a sandworm. I do. Right? I mean, he's got to be. Still guard the leader of that siege has come with me to meet you, sire. The leader has a knife. He won't surrender, sire. It's a Chris knife. It's sacred to his people. How many Chris nice knives are there? Hold. Oh my goodness. No respect. Thank you. I must go. Won't you stay? Is she, is she. Ooh, what the F is that about? It takes a clever piece of clockwork to sort it out. The Fremen make these? And still suits and sand compactors and all kinds of ingenious things. I'm also very interested in Gurney's character. Like, what's his whole deal? He obviously has an allegiance to the to the Atreides people, but he's he's like a he he's such like a free roamer that he can mingle with other like types of people, and you know it's like he's cool with everybody. So I wonder like how that's gonna affect the story. You've worn a steel suit before? No, this is my first time. He shall know your ways as wait wait wait. What did she just say? Because I was just as soon as she was getting into whole all of this, like I'm starting to think like he really is the one, right? And the reason why people recognize him, the reason why he just knew how to put this on, is because technically like he has already lived this life or something. Because that was the part of, that was the point of his whole thing, being like be able to go like past, present, future type shit, right? He shall know your ways as though born to them. Hmm. You see, I feel like he's going to have a vision now or something like this is the first time of him touching down on sand, right? Or worse, what if the fucking the sandworm pops up on his location instantly now that he's touched sand? That's what he is, the Kizyadshi Hydrak or whatever. Does somebody know, is this COVID related? And if it is, what do we do about it? Ow. This shit is huge, bro. What? You know what will happen if I don't get spice production back on track? Yes, it's not kind to humans either. Was she an op the whole time? Like, I don't understand. She really don't seem to care about what just happened. I had a vision. What did you see? Are we really still dreaming about Zendaya? The blue eyes are cool as fuck. Like, it's like a perfect blue. Because the cornea and stuff is like blue. And then, like, it, there's the blue hood. 
the bluish hue that it's in the white spots and it's not the same color blue it's like a little bit lighter so it's just it just visually looks really cool good they're gonna kiss also that thing i was talking about about breeding earlier i wonder if they're gonna do that well oh he was wait and it was that with like the chris knife or something oh my god so much blood Is this an assassination? Wait, it was done by the doctor? No fucking way! Alright, so is this like all the aftermath of not being able to produce the spice? It must be, because this comes right after him saying like, you know what'll happen. If I'm not able to do that. Look who it is, everybody. is Buddy. Buddy. He came for a little... He came to say hello. Buddy, I'm watching Dune. I'm sorry, my lord. But I've made a bargain with the Baron. The Harkon has had my wife, Mona. I will buy her freedom. And you are the price. Damn, the doctor. Oh, I will do what I can. It's always the good guy that has to fucking die in these types of things. Like, Oscar's character was too good. Like, you you see it in the way he was he ruled over people and, and how he would, like, talk to people of other kingdoms and stuff. He was too good of a character to stay alive. Deliver my wife from her agony. Yes. I said I'd set her free. That you could join her. All of that, just to die, bro. No fucking way he survived. Get the fuck out of here. It's the unholy war spreading across the universe like unquenchable fire. A warrior religion that waged its Aiden's banner in my father's name. Fanatical legions worshipping at the shrine of my father's skull. A WAR IN MY NAME! GET OFF ME! YOU DID THIS TO ME! YOU BETTER DESERT MADE ME A FREAK! Now he's gonna reject all of this power he's been given. Zarkar! NO! Duncan! Oh, no! Duncan, no! Ah. Got him good. I can't say Gringo yet enough. I said bitch where? Stogar. Hey. This is the boy I told you about. We can't touch him. He may have sent to Harry. But the woman, she'll cut my throat. You're one of us now. My road leads into the desert. I can see it. This is only the beginning. Looks like one of the dreams officially came true. I mean, no, they all they always have been coming true because we've seen the guy die. Now he's meeting this girl. All right. Wow. Sorry. So that was Dune. I don't even know what to say. One, th one, one something I wrote down earlier was about like right. Most of the movie he was shown to have like they be to be like inexperienced with his powers as as far as what his mother's side are known for, which is like controlling people with the voice. But like all this time, because he's the one. He's actually had another power in addition to being able to control people. It's that, you know, he can see he has these dreams. He sees the future. He's he like, like, what was it? Like they they described the one as being like he has this incredibly powerful mind. He can control the past, present and future. Not really control it, but like he just has like power. He has like domain over that kind of stuff. You know, it was interesting to see like all this time he wasn't really as weak as he seemed. It's just that like, his power was developing more in another area. And I mean, it, it's cool. Like, but you know, for this for this movie as it is, there's still more to see and more to like figure out. Um, which is obviously what part two was all about. 
Like, like Zendaya said at the end, like this was all just the beginning. I do feel like in in places the movie moved pretty fast. I mean, even for two and a half hours. And obviously, I think that's because like this 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 book like, however, I don't know how much of the books they covered with this, but I think they really kind of generally like just got like the big moments and just compressed it down to this movie uh i i, I would say i like it. it it was it was cool it was cool but i feel like a little bit confusing for me because obviously there's like so much to understand and know more about this definitely on a rewatch i could probably enjoy it more because i was lost a little bit in the beginning but somewhere toward like i don't know maybe 30 minutes to an hour in i started to feel like all right everything happening now is easy to like understand and follow along to but then i feel like again toward the end things somewhere i feel like things were being skipped over or just they moved a little bit too fast just to get us to this point where they're leading toward the end but it was it was good it was a good movie i, d I definitely enjoyed this yeah i don't really know what else to say other than thank you for watching dap me up Mm, if you if you want to see more reactions you know what to do hit the subscribe button hit the like if you enjoyed please leave a comment down below if you want me to do more reactions if you would want me to watch or if you think i should watch dune the 80s version because there's an 80s version of this movie um let me know if you want me to check that one out see if it maybe can piece together some things or maybe if it tells a, a different variation of the same part of the story like i don't know how dune the 80s version works since that's, I think they only made one part. But yeah, that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace, though. Look out, y'all. Peace out. Hey, everybody. I'm back. So um, I actually want to say a little bit more about Dune. Because as I got into the editing part of, you know, the process of reacting, uh, there was more I wanted to say. And I, f I usually feel like I usually feel that way when it comes to reacting, at least in the past. Um, so I think moving forward with the channel, you're going to get my first time reaction, but you're, you're also probably going to get a little extended part of me just talking, uh, about whatever it is. If, if I could for uh, movies like this, or just, just, just in general, you know, sometimes when I'm sitting there giving a first time reaction, there's really not enough time for me to digest everything I've seen and, uh, and, and really process everything to, to really just give you like a thorough, uh, like examination and, and flow of my thoughts so that's what like the post that's what this that's what this whole part is about so anyway um i wrote some stuff down while i was editing that i wanted to talk about and uh since it's the end of the video you know i'm really scuffed i'm just gonna say what i wrote down so on the edit rewatch dune one is very interesting because of how we're introduced to paul like and this world in general like he's he's just a child and most most of the people view him that way He's got this baby face and he has this power of the voice that he has to learn to master. Um, still going with that whole idea of him being young. When we first meet him, he's even saying things like, uh, it's like oh, I just woke up and because his mother's trying to get him to use the voice like so early in the morning. And that type of stuff kind of really grounds the character. It, it, it grounds the story a little bit. Meanwhile, you know, while all this weird stuff is going on, you got sandworms and all of this like space futuristic type of thing going on. It, it, these characters are still very human. And I found that to be very interesting. Dune is like Star Wars X Game of Thrones. And that is interesting to me as well. I mean, I'm not that into Star Wars. I've never really watched it. I've only seen the first episode and it probably wasn't a good idea to start with that, but I tried to do it like that. Um, so yeah, like if anything, Dune made me really want to watch Star Wars and it's something I, I, I really wanted to mention in the initial reaction. So I'm mentioning it in here. If anybody out there wants to see me watch Star Wars, uh, let me know. But yeah, it, but yeah, it also had like that Game of Thrones kind of vibe, the way like the houses are. And like the the the, dipl the diplomacy side of of Dune is where it kind of reminds me of Game of Thrones, and in the space reminds me of Star Wars. Leto, Paul's dad. This was a very interesting character to me because he ends up having that conversation with Paul, telling him about like he didn't want to have, he didn't want to be like the leader of the Atreides people, and all that stuff. He didn't want that power. He wanted to be a pilot. What was interesting to me about about him was when we first see him when the emperor comes and he gives him uh the harkonnen say so he, uh, he gives him whatever you know I, I i'm already forgetting but he 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 gets to control the sand people right he gets he, he gets to have dominion over that and the way that the way that ceremony went was like he was he like th there was inexperience there like once it was over he was like that's it you know 
so th that to me shows that he was actually inexperienced just just like paul this being like his first time actually probably meeting the emperor and going through a process like that i feel like that was a very subtle thing but like it was you know i noticed it also something um about the way he ruled right like he was such he, he was pretty kind he was very like like, like he didn't want to just like rule over the sand people and just like with an iron fist he wanted to like actually like work together with them and while that is like a commendable and respectable thing i also feel like perhaps maybe it was actually again a sign of his inexperience because if he was more experienced then maybe he would have had more people around him maybe there would have been more security maybe he wouldn't have got easily set up to die if he was a little more cautious and more uh anxious nervous about people murdering him at any time and stuff like that you know maybe if he was more power hungry power driven he could have survived but that's the, that's the way the story goes so yeah that was pretty much all of the thoughts i had that i wanted to actually share as extra things i'm thinking like if i was doing patreon again like this is what i would do to really give uh people just extra bit of content because when i was i feel like when i was doing patreon in the past you weren't really getting a lot of extra stuff um i think this if i were to do like reactions again this would be a good way to really give back to people because i don't think i would do like the full length watch along again i think i would just give you like the actual cut that i would upload to youtube but you would also get like this extra tidbit feedback um from me while i'm editing that won't be a part of the youtubing but i think it's um you know l let me i think i'm gonna generate some hype a bit if people want to you know people enjoy my reactions you know you know what to do you can further support on patreon but not now we're not active right now this is just a big thought oh man i left my thing down damn it all right, this, I, it's seven in the morning. I didn't mean to leave my uh, Twitch stuff up, but uh, fuck it, I, I'm throwing it in the video. Goodbye.